Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Today I'm going to do something different and I'm actually going to use our Forex signals from the premium group on Telegram to show you exactly how we can use the Forex signals that we are sending and what is exactly the proper money management system that you can actually use when using uh, when actually applying our signals. Let me just uh, hurry up because Angela has sent already three signals. Um, you think I think Euro USD Euro NZD is already reaching the take profit number one and it's already late to enter USD CAD and pound CAD let me just uh, start shorting them and I will explain to you later what I'm going to do so USD CAD is for the short right now as uh, the, the signal has uh, mentioned pound CAD with the short at 17237 pound CAD right here and 7237 which has already there yes exactly so let me now first explain to you my money management system for the signals today and by the way this is very important part of how to use the forex signals first of all we need to understand that we are investors we are trading forex meaning we are investing an amount for each and every single trade that we are doing in this platform so therefore as we can see right here i have a count of 1932 dollars now for the signals today I'm going to invest maximum $100. Or actually, you know something? Let me just make it $150. $150 is going to be my investment for today's signal. That means that in worst cases, I mean, even if all of the signals have reached the stop loss, which is never going to happen, thankfully, um, I'm going to lose $150. So this is my maximum investment. All right. So this is what I'm trying to, planning to, planning to uh, dedicate for today's trades on the signals only. Now, now, since I have decided that I'm going to use only $150 for today's signals, now, now I need to understand how much I'm going to invest on each and every single trade. Now, out of this account of 1932, each and every single signal, I'm going to invest only 0.1 lot size. So, uh, I think Angela has sent another signal. Yes, Euro, uh, Euro AUD for the short. Let me just go do it, uh, do it uh, right away. So we will not miss uh, the opportunity. Uh, zero, uh, 1.5489, 1.5491. Yeah, it's already falling. Yes, exactly right from there. Okay. Now, let me just show you exactly what we should do. Now, as you can see, the signal here says that the stop loss should be placed on uh, 45 pips for the USD CAD. Let me just go to the USD CAD again. This is the USD CAD. The stop loss has to be on 45 pips. Let's go ahead and do that. Now check this out, 45 pips. The stop loss is gonna be $36. $36, meaning I should do the same for all the signals, by the way. Euro AUD also, the stop loss has to be about 45 pips. Let me just do that. And exactly $34. Pound CAD, the stop loss has to be also uh, 50 pips, I think. Your pound CAD, this is the pound CAD, yes, pound CAD is uh, 50 pips of uh, 50 pips as a stop loss. Let me just go ahead and do that. So $40. Now look at that. All the stop losses, if we think about them right now, they are uh, 32 plus 34 plus um, how much? 41. $41 plus $41. 107. Meaning that I'm right now investing $107 which is better than the $150 that I was planning to use initially on uh, today's signals. Euro NZD, sadly, I missed entering it because uh, the signal already going in a very, very good profit. Look at that. Uh, Angela has sent the signal to start short the pound, sorry, the Euro NZD right from that level. And the pair has, actually, it's already almost, I think, 20 pips. It's very close to hit the tech profit number one. I think the, the announcement is gonna be uh, out very soon that the signal has reached the tech profit number one. Anyway, uh, this was a very good signal that I sadly have missed entering. However, what I was saying here, guys, that I have set an amount that I'm going to use on today's signals, meaning no matter what happens, I will never, never lose more than 107. And that is if in case I lost all, oh, sorry, all of the signals have reached the take, sorry, the stop loss. So again, even if the, in the worst cases, if all of the signals has reached, have reached the, the stop loss, I'm not going to lose more than uh, $107 only as maximum, which is really very good. So again, uh, Euro AUD, 
Um, the take profit level is going to be after 20 pips. Let me just uh, go ahead. 20 pips, which is exactly right here, almost 19.9, which is fine. USDCAD, also the take profit level is going to be um, 20 pips as well. 20 pips, let me just make it right here. Uh, okay, 20.2. Um, pound cat, I think 30 pips maybe. 30 pips, uh, they take profit, they take profit number one. Yeah, 29 point, yeah, that's fine. So, the point, the point here, guys, that I have now uh, protected myself, I'm not go going to wipe my account, I'm not going to lose so much because the targets I'm aiming is actually pretty good. For example, from the pound cad, I'm aiming right now $23 on the first trade, USD cad. $16 on the first trade, or sorry, the second trade, and $15. Now, of course, we are just calcul calculating the maximum losses, but we forgot to, pro to calculate the profits. Remember, the good thing about extreme trade of forex signals is we never, ever let any signal to hit the stop loss. And I think the clients can confirm this fact that they never see any signal being announced that the stop loss was hidden. We always closing the trade with if, if in case we see the market going against our direction, the trade is going to be close with eight, between eight to 30 pips only of loss, avoiding the, the stop loss to be reached. And that is actually very, very good. And um, we are just trying to spread the reality of Forex that not every single day is going to be profitable. Not every day is going to be very good. Some days, some days, some days actually will be bad. For those days, we always have to be prepared. So anyway, um this is only for the tech profit number one now after uh, any of them is going to be reached i'm going to show you how we can do what we can do exactly uh for the tech profit number two so until then allow me now please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these three signals let me show you something very interesting here uh the euro and the signal is going toward the tech profit number one and i think it's going to be announced at any moment However, the bearish momentum is quite strong and I'm thinking to start shorting right now. Now, since Extreme Trader has mentioned that we can start shorting the Euro NZD and we are aiming take profit number two with um, Euro NZD with take profit of 60 pips, that means that we can actually still aiming more th or 30 pips more. I think I'm going to start short the Euro NZD right now. The signal actually it is, it seems to be very good and actually it is one of my strategies to be honest uh it's about the breakout the candle and how to find uh, actually it's, it's long story <laughs> anyway uh look at that the euro nzd has been triggered and it's already active i think the take profit number one has to be announced right now any moment angela is gonna send it because the signal really is going very well and so far i believe it has touched the tw yeah oh sorry the take profit is 30 pips yeah my bad sorry the take profit level is 30 pips good that's very good meaning that we still did not reach the take profit number one okay good so that means take profit number two is one point double six double seven double six double seven yeah take profit number almost right there, right there. Yeah, sorry guys, um, even me myself, I got confused for a bit. Uh, that's my bad, sorry about it. But however, uh, everything is going very well so far. All of the signals are going in profit and so far we are in $15 of profit, which is really good. Now, I need to explain something also. The profits that you are making today is going to be your investment for tomorrow. That's my philosophy in, in trading Forex. Whatever profit you are making for today, use part of it for tomorrow's trades. For example, today you have made $100 profit. Now tomorrow, use $80 for an investment and keep a $20 safe as you know, in your deposit, I mean, in, 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 your, um, in, your, in your account, just as, as a profit that I, that I have made. As a Forex trader, you're an investor and you are, you are investing every single day so many times, especially if you are a scalper, you're going to be investing a lot of times every single day. However, this is a long speech. I don't want to go through it. Uh, so far, the signals are going in a profit and I'm going now to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you once these signals reach the take profit and what we should do exactly if any signal has went again against the direction and the euro aud has touched the take profit number one but as you can see because of the spread uh, the market didn't uh, close the trade but the, the meta trader did not close the trade which is very normal but however as we can see the take profit level has been indeed touched and uh, the announcement has been sent out which is really great now what am i going to do first of all let me cancel the take profit level now pay attention 
what you will do exactly is I want to secure profit here. So if you are enough with this profit, if you are happy with it, it's really up guys. This is really up to you how to handle this right now. I will show you just one way of how to use it. But however, this is not the only way to use these signals. I have been shocked with some members who are thinking that this is the only way to use these signals. However, it is just one of the methods. What you can do if you want, you can open right now another trade aiming to take profit number two, which is possible, by the way. However, if you are not planning to do that, you can do something here. And if you see the momentum is very strong and the pair is still has a potential to fall more down, then you can simply drag the stop loss from above the entry to below it. As simple as that. This is one of the ways you can do if you want to just secure any profit. But however, the problem with this that the stop loss is going to be on the take profit. So if the signal has went back all the way right here to make a pullback is going to hit your stop loss and then continue the fall. That is not not practical. So what you should do uh, if you want to take the risk and you want to invest more, look at that. The signal is still going in profit and I'm very happy about it. You can just keep this. is There are many ways, as I told you guys, you can just make the stop loss right here, right above the entry level. So if you are planning to invest more and you we want to keep the trade running, uh, therefore, therefore, if the signal has went against you, it's just going to hit the stop, the, the, the entry the initial entry, the original entry, and then fall back. And if the market went above it, you, it will hit the stop loss. One of the ways is you just simply like that, do like that. You can just, you know, keep chasing the candle. The more it falls, the more you drag the stop loss. As long as the candle is falling, I'm going to be in profit. If the candle keep falling, I'm going to keep drag the stop loss. And by the way here, the stop loss here is a profit because we brought the stop loss right from above the entry level. So the stop loss right here, is $33 um, lost. If you bring this stop loss below your sell level, the stop loss, look at that, it says stop loss, that's, which is going to be, by the way, also a take profit of $8. So there are numbers of ways. What I'm going to do right now is just a random way of um, making a stop loss of 22 pips above the initial or the, uh, the, orig uh, the original entry level. That's one of the ways. Again, I'm telling you guys, this is not the only way. It's really up to you. You can, you can if you want, just close the trade right now and take this profit. There's, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But however, I'm just happy with this way because I just want to secure the profits. And I think, look at that, the, the bearish momentum is very strong and the, the pair still has a potential to fall more and to go to go more in, uh, in profit. So therefore, I'm going to just uh, use the stop loss just right here. 10 pips above the entry level. So um, my investment for this deal is going to be $8 and I'm aiming so far, the pair so far running in $15 of profit. Well, this is what, uh, this is actually another very good way to use the Forex signals. Again, I'm telling you, this is not the only way. There are numbers of ways that we're offering on uh, our website. However, again, it's really up to every one of you guys how to use the signals. There is no rule of what you should do. If we announce any signal hit the take profit level, it, we are going to stick to our take profit level. If we announce any signal hit, has hit the stop loss is going to be the, or the initial stop loss that we, we announce it later with 50 pips of loss. That's it. Anyway, uh, the signal going in profits and I'm going to keep it. Let's see how far it's going to go. And if I see any strong reversal happens or if the candle started to reverse, I'm going to close the, can the, the trade right away with um, the current profit. So let me know, please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what, what will going to happen with the rest of the signals. And as I have expected, the Euro EUD is falling more and more down. And so far the trade is going in um 30 pips of profit and look at that all of the signals are going in a very good profit usdcad is running in 13 pips of profit um euro and zd even though i have entered very late it's running in five or six pips of profit um pound cad is running right now in 12 pips of profit it's, uh, it's, it seems to be a very good day for the signals thankfully and we are doing so well as usual thankfully and right now as we can see the stop losses is still above my entry level let me do something right now i want to secure the profits so what i will do i will drag the stop loss 
to be 18 pips of profit never go greedy uh 18 pips of profit is still fine but again you can close the trade right now if you want it's really up to you my friends i mean right now the total is 46 uh, 45 dollars of profit and you can just take it right now and close the day in a very good and decent profit again i'm telling this for the thousand times it's really up to you how to use these signals anyway everything is going so far very well uh, again allow me please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these signals and just wanted to share with you euro card has already reached the take profit level as i just told you um euro nzd has reached the uh take profit number one euro aud as well has reached the take profit number one euro card where is your card did i miss entering did i miss the signal oh my god yeah yeah oh <laughs> that's my bad i missed the eurocard i'm telling you guys angela is the one sending the signals and she's doing very very well really that's amazing yeah that's amazing eurocard i actually have missed entering it which is uh, also very normal um look at that the momentum is very strong indeed and the signal is very very legit and i think it's it makes a lot of sense anyway everything is going very well and i'm happy about the results even though i have missed uh, eurocad and i have missed uh, entering the euro and on the time still these signals are doing very well still i'm making a lot of profits and i'm happy about these profits that i'm making using our own forex signals that's perfect anyway allow me now please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these signals so let me show you a reality example uh euro aud right now seems to be reversing and there is a pullback happening and so far i just want to secure my profits so what i can do is closing the trade with 25 dollars of profit now i just i normally i wouldn't do that but however i just want to here to show example for everyone what everyone can do exactly I know there is a lot of people here who are joining the signal just to make profits, uh, even if they are small. So therefore, I want to show you guys that if you are happy with the profit that you have made, and so far the Euro AUD is running in 34 pips of, pro of profit. I mean, that's for me, that's enough. That, for me, that's enough. I can take it and just close the trade and just accept the signal. But you know something? I also want to show you what we, what we can do for the signal to reach the take profit number two. I know I have been talking for a long time, but however, um, I'm just curious to see what will going to happen if we should keep the trade running or not. Uh, from my, my point of view, uh, the pair is going to continue the fall. But however, I just want to show a good example here for everyone. How can they handle these signals? So therefore, I will do the right thing and just take the profit. I want everyone to stop being greedy. And what you can do next, if you want, if you are actually planning to keep trading it, you can wait for the pullback to happen and you can start shorting again right at the pullback. Again, signals are just signals. We're just telling you that we are expecting for the pair to fall to this level. So it doesn't mean that we have to exactly stick to it. I mean, you can just do whatever you want. You can take the profit whenever you like to. Let me see now. I mean, on the other signals, maybe I will do the same or I will actually uh, let one of them to reach the take profit number two. And let's see how it's going to happen. Anyway, uh, 18 minutes, that's long enough for using the signals. Allow me now, please, to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with these signals. All right, my friends. So I just want to tell you something. Actually, this is taking a long time and I want really to do some trades for myself. And I wanted to share with you that the trades are going really very well today. And um pound cad is a uh, very close to the to take uh, to the take profit number one which is really great it is uh, more than 30 pips and uh euro and zd even though i have entered really well late i mean i have entered like 23 pips late still the trade is going in 18 pips of profit very close to hit the take profit number two by the way and usd cad is running so far in 16 pips of profit a uh, total of 44 dollars of profit I mean, with plus the $27 that we have made uh, uh, from the first trade, we are a um, little bit above $60 for today. I think this is very good. And I want to give you an example of how to use these signals. And let me know, please, just to close all these signals in a very good profit. So the account finally right now is above $2,000. I will start now trades, um, or sorry, doing some scalpings using my own trades. But however, um, this is very important practice because I wanted to show you 
actually I wanted to show you more than that I wanted to show you how we can approach the take profit number two and three but I just realized this is gonna take the whole day and I really want to do some trades by my own and uh, I'm happy with the results that we have made today by the, uh, by the signals everything went very well all of the signals are running in a very good profit some of them about to approach to take profit number two so far and I believe we are doing very well in the premium group however I wanted to mention here if you are actually in the trade and as you can as you guys have just seen in the first trade if you feel that the momentum is very strong and the trade has, has the potential to go more farther than the take profit number one then just drag the tech, the stop loss to be just a little bit above your entry i mean this is just option for the last time you have the right you have the full you have the full freedom to use the signals on your own way there is no permanent rule or strict rule of how to use these signals signals are just signals we are not telling you uh, how to how, how much money you have to invest I mean these are just advices uh, I show you today example of how much I was planning to invest how much was um, uh, my maximum potential possible losses to be happen which was 107 dollars and the profits actually we have made about 67 or 65 dollars i'm not sure but however um it is actually a good practice to prepare for the signals for the day always prepare a, a dedicated amount of your uh, trading signal uh, trading uh, account to the signals so for example right now i have here two thousand dollars account i can dedicate now two hundred dollars right now what i'm going to do if i want to trade the signals tomorrow i will actually trade with the profits that i have made today meaning i can trade let's say about 70 dollars uh, for tomorrow so i will use almost the same lot sizes or different however i can actually also increase the lot size and therefore i can um, for example i can invest uh, 100 dollars from my initial deposit plus the 70 dollars that i have made today meaning i can trade with 170 dollars for tomorrow's signals the whole idea is trade with part of the profit that you have made today for tomorrow's trades anyway the video is 22 minutes long and i mean this is really quite long for uh, such a video i believe the idea here is clear about how to use our forex signals and in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching